Good morning and welcome to our devotional here on this Friday. I pray that you have a wonderful week, that you're blessed beyond measure, that God is um, supplying your needs, and more importantly, that you're preparing to celebrate Him uh, this year. Um, the title of this devotional is called There's Hope. And it's based on the scripture found in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse number 15. It says, instead, you must worship Christ as your Lord of your life. And if someone asks about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. Um, you know, there are a few movies that I think I've watched in my life that really kind of impacted me and left an impression, as some say. Um, whether it was a quote, a feeling, maybe it was a, a storyline or a character uh, based on a true story type thing, and it's just that message that just really hits home. Well, there's one that has a quote that um, it stayed with me, and, and I love the response that is given later in the movie. It doesn't happen right away, but um, it's a great response. And so I hope that you recognize the quote. And if you don't, I'll, I'll let you know uh, in on the secret. But the first part of the quote is this. It says, let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Now, you're probably wondering where that's from. Maybe if you're, uh, 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 you, you've you watched this movie, but it's it, if you don't recognize it, it's actually from the Shawshank Redemption. It's a beautiful movie about redemption. It's a movie about a, a deep friendship between two guys and, and a hope that is given to each of them. It's in the scene where Morgan Freeman's character, Red, is, is, is speaking to Tim Robbins' character, whose name is Andy. They're both inmates at the Shawshank uh, State Prin Prison. And after Andy is thrown into solitary for playing beautiful piece of opera music over the main speakers in the prison. Red quest, qu questions Andy, which leads to the statement of, of, of why did you do it? And Andy responds, because the music that I played gives hope. And Red tells him, let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Well, at the end of the movie, if you watch it, um, it's a fantastic, I won't tell you anything in between, but Andy writes a letter to Red, and in the letter he addresses his statement, and Andy writes, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing never dies. The reason why I have this, this particular memory is because we read about hope in the Bible so much, and some people misunderstand what hope is. See, it always reminds us that God is our hope, and this real hope can only be found in Him. If we don't understand hope, we're looking for it in the wrong places. Hope is steadfast. It comes from having a deep, deep understanding and knowledge of who God is, knowing who He really is within your life. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 15, verse number 13, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. By faith, we trust in Him. Just like in the movie, Andy trusted in the element of his freedom. We trust God to always liberate us in our life, to provide for us and to give to us what we need. He's our refuge. He's our strength. He's our hope. I close with the scripture that says in Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 1, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Hope gives you the ability of seeing what's not there. It gives you the ability of trusting that God's going to take care of it. You may not see it, but have hope. God is always faithful. Bow your heads with me as we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you for um, just the reminders that you give in life about who you are in our life. And we have hope. God, th th you have given us something that this world cannot offer. It tries to fabricate. It tries to duplicate. It even tries to mimic. But nothing compares to the hope that you give in this world. God, you give us a hope of not only eternal life, but to be with you. And so I pray, Father, this morning that those that feel hopeless, I pray, God, that they find the hope in you. That they reach out, they understand your goodness, they understand what you're trying to do in our lives, Lord. That each time we stumble, that we get up and we move forward. That each time we fail, God, that you encourage us as we stand and shake off the dust and give us the, the ability to move forward. I thank you for the hope that comes through the great gift of Jesus Christ. We are going to be celebrating it. It gives hope to the world. I thank you for that, Lord. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. Amen. God bless you. 
Well, thanks for joining us for our devotional here. And I just want to remind you tomorrow, uh, we will not be actually having a cleanup day tomorrow. Um, we're celebrating our anniversary, my wife and I. Today is our 33rd anniversary, and uh, I'm grateful to God for the 33 years He's blessed us with. Uh, my wife and I uh, will be getting away, enjoying some time uh, together. And uh, so there will not be a cleanup uh, that will be happening this, this Saturday. Um, but um, you, you're more than welcome to come and help um, those that are going to be here, but unfortunately we will not be. Um, that's at 10 a.m. though. Uh, and then of course, uh, Sunday morning we are back together and in, we're in our series in the waiting and uh, it's a great series. It's leading us to uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so I pray that you can join us again. That's this Sunday at 10 a.m. It's in person or on Facebook Live. Thanks for joining us.